Live streaming can be a game changer for building your community and earning more from your content. Whether you're streaming for free on YouTube or behind a paywall on your own video membership site, there are a few things that you have to keep in mind to take your streams from good to community building, revenue increasing, great. Enter Nick Nimmin. He's an educator, content creator, and all around expert when it comes to growing on YouTube. He's kind of a legend in the creator space, not to mention just a great guy, and he's mastered live streaming as a part of his larger business. So how does he do it. We dove into his video catalog and found five things Nick does to take his live streams to the next level. The first one is so simple, but it can have a huge payoff. His live streams aren't just videos. He makes them into an event. He streams a YouTuber news segment on Fridays and a longer Q&A stream on Saturdays. They're consistent and predictable, so his audience already knows that they can show up every week for a new stream. It's like a standing appointment to hang out with a couple thousand of your closest friends. If you can't go live on a schedule like that, don't worry. The key to making your streams into an event is to get your audience excited about it in advance. Don't underestimate the power of FOMO here. When people know in advance what kind of value that your live stream will give them, it creates a sense of urgency to catch it live. The next step in taking your live streams from good to great is making sure that your audience gets plenty of opportunities to interact because if they don't, it might as well just be a regular video, right? So while I've got you, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel for more great creator breakdowns just like this one so we can keep learning and growing together. Nick's strategy of doing Q&A live streams makes interactivity easy. His viewers choose the topics by submitting questions. As a bonus, Q&As make sure the content is actually of value to the viewers because it's exactly what they asked for. Maybe even more special, he makes it a point to celebrate the wins of his audience. Well, and really quick, Dr. Nas just got their 100,000 subscriber award from YouTube. I just want to give you a high five and a fist bump. Congratulations, wherever, the, whichever camera I'm looking at here, high five and fist bumps all around. That shout out is a super simple way to make your audience feel appreciated. It's like you're reaching through the screen, handing them a gift, even if it's just the gift of your time and expertise. And in Nick's case, it also demonstrates proof to any of his newer audience members that his advice actually works. The third strategy we found is an important one to talk about because when you have both free and paywalled content, it can be tempting to tease your most valuable information in the live stream and then point your viewers towards the paid side. It's like saying, hey, you can have this dollar with no strings attached, except that you have to balance on one foot for an hour without falling over. But doing that just frustrates your viewer who's looking for answers and it feels a little bit salesy. It's not a great way to build a meaningful and lasting relationship. Instead, Nick has found a much better way to encourage people to sign up for his memberships. Now, stick with me because it will sound a little counterintuitive, but he is quite literally giving value for free without asking them to jump through any hoops. He gives and gives and gives and gives without asking for anything in return. And look, the information I'm getting ready to share with you, a lot of people probably make you pay for it, but I'm just gonna give it to you here. When you're generous to somebody, what happens? Well, they often wanna return the favor, but ultimately it strengthens the relationship. It establishes goodwill, builds trust, and endears people to you. It creates loyalty. It means you don't have to do much selling at all because people will then want to find ways to support you. With Nick, his content is generous by nature and you know that his membership and products are worth the money because you already got so much value up front. An audience that loves your free content is more likely to want your paid offering as well. Nick shows just how easy it is to monetize without getting in the way of the community that you're building. Like a lot of creators trying to make a living online, Nick does sponsorships, super chats, and affiliate links among the many resources he shares under each live stream. But there are a few other ways that live streaming contributes to his creator business that are way more interesting. You've heard me say this before, but memberships are the best way to create predictable recurring revenue. Nick knows this too, and he's done it not once, but twice. One of them is Tuber Tools, a membership that provides graphic, video, and audio resources for creators. And the other is a channel membership on YouTube that offers members-only live streams. Each of these memberships solves a unique need or desire from his audience. Tuber Tools is for his audience members who just want tools, while the channel membership is for those who want even more advice and opportunities to ask questions. A huge part of what makes Nick's live streams so successful is that he sets them up to continue bringing in views and income long after he's gone off air. And you only need to do a couple things to make it last the same 
way. Check out this clip from one of Nick's recent streams. If you are watching this on the replay and you were not able to join us live, I do want to let you know that we put chapters in these live streams. That shout out in the first 30 seconds makes it totally clear that he's thinking ahead about making the experience just as positive for replay viewers as he is for live viewers. Chapters and quick shout outs are a really good way to do that. And if that's not enough, clips and highlights from his live streams also pull double duty on his second channel, Nimin Extra. These separated clips make his content more accessible via search, and he can attract new viewers to his live streams with little additional work. Having a strategic plan to repurpose content like this can help grow your reach while saving time because you've already done the hard part during your live streams. If you watch this video to the end, we have even more strategies to set your creator business up for long-term success in the video that's on screen right now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.